from all the activities to the breathtaking memories, that's the real reason we travel to any vacation destination. But there's always so many questions that we all have, from the what's to the where's, and of course they're all justified, with a ton of great and unique experiences to be had all around this vacation destination, you might be wondering, what are the best activities to do here? And we're here to answer those questions with our travel guide for Dubai. So buckle in your seatbelts, get ready for an adventure to Dubai. Dubai is this city from the future that is living in the present. With over 3.3 million people living in the area, you will be surprised that roughly 85% of those people are expatriates or immigrants. The city has everything from the highest forms of luxury to the tallest building in the world. On this travel guide, the first thing we want to talk about is transportation to and from the airport. So if you've just landed in Dubai, and you've got to figure out how you're going to get from the Dubai airport to wherever your accommodation is. There's three different ways you can get to it. The first one is going to be the metro. That's going to be your most inexpensive form of traveling around. And it's actually really simple to get to the metro because it's actually connected right on the airport. The second one is actually not much more difficult, so go ahead and hop in a taxi or a Kareem. A Kareem is basically like an Uber, or you could also just go get an Uber, but Ubers are usually going to provide a higher end car, so you'll end up paying a bit more than you normally would for a Kareem. And the last option, would be going to get yourself a rental vehicle. Just keep in mind that when you are driving in Dubai, there are a lot of speed traps scattered around, so you don't want to exceed the speed limits there. It's quite common that a lot of travelers have gotten quite a few tickets in the mail. Gas is very cheap though, especially in the United Arab Emirates. So the nice part is, if you're doing a rental car, you won't spend too much money on gas. In general, transportation around Dubai is actually quite inexpensive because of those fuel prices. The next part we're going to talk about would be the accommodations and what area you should stay in. So the main locations you'll want to stay in Dubai would be first off somewhere close to the Dubai Marina. The Dubai Marina has so many spots that open up to you when you're close by. From the many beautiful lookouts, amazing views, tons of restaurant options and just a great way to have a memorable stroll around town. The next area would be Jumeirah District, which is close by to the Dubai Marina and mostly great for the same reasons. With a lot of spots to visit, a ton of restaurant options, and just a great ambience to wrap up the amazingness of the area. The third area would definitely be considered an amazing hotspot for tourism and that would be the Business Bay. It's obviously a hotspot because of the destinations in the area, the Burj Khalifa, the Dubai Mall, and so much more. There's certainly a ton of different discoveries to be made in this area of Dubai. And the final area would be Palm Island. It's this beautiful man-made island that's in a shape of a palm tree that can be seen from outer space. It is a little on the higher end side, but it's certainly well worth the price. If you're looking to get away from the hustle and bustle of Dubai, 
and what it has to offer, then Palm Island will surely be your best bet. For the types of accommodations, more often than not, there are always going to be high-end hotels in the area. Airbnbs are an amazing option because of the entire apartment style of living arrangements. And there are some Airbnbs that are relatively high-end but are moderately priced, depending on what you're looking for. But for the more budget side of accommodations, hostels are such a good option with some of the hostels not even feeling cheap. There are quite a few phone apps that you will probably want to download before you get to Dubai, mainly because they're just going to help you so much on your travels in Dubai. The first one would be Kareem. It's the Uber of Dubai with more moderately priced travel rates, mainly because Uber offers higher end vehicles so it'll obviously cost you a bit more. You can also get yourself Kareem bike rentals so that you have the option to rent bikes scattered all over Dubai. With stations scattered all over Dubai, which is a good way to stroll around town. If you have plans to visit the Dubai Mall, be sure to get yourself the Dubai Mall app. The Dubai Mall is actually the biggest mall in the world so getting lost isn't that embarrassing. If you download the Dubai Mall app, you'll be able to find the store you want to go to and even give you a walking GPS with directions to get you where you want to go without all the hustle and bustle. For public transportation information, the RTA Dubai is your best bet. Whether you're taking the metro, buses, or anything else for that matter, you'll be able to find schedules and information in the app to help you get around easier. Food and dining in Dubai will never be a problem. With so much options from the high-end restaurants in the Dubai Marina to the local street vendors out and about, there's always something for everyone and you will never run out of options to grab a bite to eat, savor, and enjoy. With what to do in Dubai, there's nothing short of an amazing experience in the area with luxurious activities up as an option with so many of them being adrenaline fueled and unique for every traveler who visits. Whether it's zip lining at the longest urban zip line in the world or taking a helicopter tour around Dubai. You can even go skydiving over the famous Palm Island. The list, the list is endless and everything is just remarkably spectacular for beach bunnies you're not forgotten as well, with Dubai being packed with beaches for days, built right on the water with warm weather all year round. There are also day trips that you can partake in outside of Dubai. Further out in the desert is Abu Dhabi. Roughly a two hour drive away from Dubai, you will have no problems of what you can do in this getaway destination. For travelers that need a co-working space to get a bit of work done, there are a ton of options. There are a ton of options, with some of them offering the restaurant style co-working space, and some that are just offering a purely a co-working space, and there are quite a few that are actually free. Abu Dhabi is the capital of the United Arab Emirates. It sits off the mainland on an island in the Persian Gulf. Its focus on oil exports and commerce is reflected by the skyline's modern towers and shopping mega centers such as the Abu Dhabi and Barina malls. So what you can actually do in Abu Dhabi is certainly pretty obvious. Shop till you drop, explore all the sand dunes out there, and just live this luxurious vacation destination that you were expecting in Dubai. Abu Dhabi offers many desert safaris, so you can just enjoy exploring the desert or you could go ahead and visit the Warner Brothers World in Abu Dhabi or the Ferrari World Tour. Everything in Abu Dhabi is just amazing, so whatever you pick, you'll most likely end up enjoying everything. There's an endless list of destinations, activities, and experiences to be had everywhere in Dubai, with each and every journey always filling you with something different and unique. Were there any other traveler destinations we haven't mentioned? Comment down below 
and we'll be sure to check them out. What are you waiting for then? Gather your travel buddies, buckle in your seatbelts, and get ready for an adventure. And with that, until next time.